Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We come up against the Bunnies in round two. Going to be a tough team and a tough test nice and early in the season. The grand finalists of 2021, they came so close. They're definitely going to be hungry this season. There are a few changes in our lineup. Paseka and Manasi Fainu are both out on suspension, which sees Aloye and Cade Cust come off the bench to the starting lineup. Um, and that does mean that Carl Lawton and Curtis Sirenden take their spots on the bench. Reynolds will get us underway as he's still at the Bunnies here. I am going with the 2021 teams. Um, but the future Bronco kicks off and Aloye takes the first hit up. Cade Cust filling in that dummy half roll. I've got no doubt he'll absolutely kill it there as he's such a good player and he's great depth for the team as well. DCE now sends it to four and we've shifted out to Garrick and he'll take a hit up. Parker in acting half. Gets it to four and he gets it to Schuster and he's through. Finding the gaps. Great ball movement to start the game as we get it to DCE. He plays short to Tom Trebojevic. They were beautiful hands there. Gets it out to Walker. That's a good first set so far. We're going to need a good kick on the end of this. Try and pin him in their own danger zone nice and early. As Josh Schuster's under this one. But so too is Johnston and he comes down with it. One of the best wingers in the game, Johnston. We shouldn't have kicked it to him. As they try to make it out of their own end, we did pin them nice and deep in their danger zone. So they will be kicking from their own half in, on the fifth and last tackle here as Reynolds gets it down to Garrick. See what he can do on the kick return. Garrick had an outstanding season as well in 2021, getting winger of the year and top point scorer. Broke the record for most points in, this, in a regular season as they take Aloye high here. Uh, definitely a bright future for Manly with uh, Garrick, Tom Trebojevic and, and Saab as the other winger having a strong back three. is a good foundation for the backs. As we look to settle in their end here. We've got numbers on the right as we call for the right side play. Four in place to Trebojevic but he couldn't, he couldn't draw and pass there as we set up back to the left. DCE. Goes back to Jake Trebojevic, and we're 10 out. We've got numbers both ways, and we go left. Parker takes a hit up. Fourth tackle here. Can we bust their line? As we get it out through the hands, Walker's on the end of it. Gets one more to Saab, and Saab will crash over. Could have gone himself, Walker, but unselfishly. Gets the ball off to Saab, and I do think he crashes over. There it is. And that'll be green lights. So we've started quite strong as we put them in their own end and then scored off the back of that field position. Their high tackle didn't help, but Garrick will look to make this 6-0. It is a tricky kick, but he does well there. 6-0 early. We're going to look to practically do the same thing here as we play inside to Trebojevic. Call for that play on the left there with Foran and Parker. We send it to Foran, but it's well read. As we really terrorised Parramatta's edge last week here on the left. As we have numbers, Cust decides not to go with it. Stops and starts, gets it to Tepau. And we're 25 out here and that's fifth. DC now decides to run it, gets it to Walker. He gets the offload to Saab, got it around to Trebojevic. Probably not the right option there, should have put a bomb up to land in their 10. But DC just trying to get risky with it. And Walker trying to do a little grabber behind the defense, but it didn't work there. As Latrell Mitchell cannot give him a one-on-one -on -one chance. As they play short now. Inside to Reynolds, taking that hit up. And they throw a wide ball. And Latrell Mitchell ends up with it. He breaks one. 
gets the offload, and Sua will be wrapped up 15 out. And they have a great chance here to hit back. That's fourth. As well, we, they get the offload, but it was Tom Trebojevic. Great intercept there. Great take. Just read the pass as Olukawatu on the inside. Getting great meters here. Four and now. Sends it early as we get it out to Parker. And he's wrapped up nicely. They don't give him a chance there. We are back in their half. But the field position is much more even than it was to start the game. We set up for DCE now. He gets it to Foran. Foran to Schuster. Schuster short to Brad Parker. He gets the ball away to Garrick. And he got ankle tapped. Before catching the ball, do they deem it a knock on or did he miss it completely? Because if he did, we do get the ball back. But he looked tackle without the ball there. We do get the ball back. And now we have a scrum play, but that was beautiful work from Schuster to play short. That's Foran now. Goes for the line himself. Had Turbo with him, but decided not to go to him. As we play short to Schuster, he can't bust the line. We send it to Foran. He changes pace, sends it wide to Walker. That was a risky pass there. As that's third. DCE now. Shifted to Foran. Schuster. Parker. And again, we just can't break their defensive line. Aloye goes himself. Couldn't find the gap. Did make that one-on-one -on -one fend as we send it to DCE. He decides to chip over the top and he it will pay off. If you can't go around the sides, why not go through the middle? And DCE decides to just put a chip and catch everyone off guard as we do go up again. And Garrick looking to make it 12-0. And there it is. We don't want to gift them any points before the break here. As DCE plays short to Olakawatu, and that's a huge gap in the defensive line. Walker fills in at dummy half. To power now. Shifts it out. To Aloye. The props leading that tackle there. As we call for that left side play again. Foran plays flat to Parker. Beautiful surface ball. And he gets the offload. Gary gets the fend. Very close to scoring there. As we call for Kieran Foran. Puts that grubber in. Goes himself. And it's cleaned up by Murray. And that will bring us to half time now. We're up 12 0. Promising signs from the boys here, but we definitely can't let them get back into this. As that's exactly what they're going to try and do. Let's get back into this game early. As they come up with an error here, we do run it out, but it's no advantage. And that is the complete opposite of the start they needed to this second half. As we have the opportunity now to go up 18-0 as we send it to Foran, but he gets wrapped up. We call for a left side play. Cust now. Play short to Trebojevic and he's through. Only one to beat, but he didn't have support. Schuster on the short side now. Gets it to Garrick. That was beautiful work from the back rower. The 5 8 plane back row as Schuster just gets that overlap. I'm sure it was a no-looker as he gets it to Garrick and he goes in in the corner. As he converts one from the sideline here and it's 18-0. Very similar to round one. We went up 18-0 around 40 minutes as well. Kepi with a huge break. Gets it to DCE. He he's going to have the pace. Kepi with a huge line break to start the kickoff. And he gets it to DCE in support. And we go in again. I did not think DCE would have the legs. And we go back to back as Manly have done so many times in the 2021 season. 
and we will make this 24 points to nil. The floodgates are just opening up here as the bunnies are playing for pride now. DCE plays to Kepi who got the ball away to Walker. That was an amazing pass from Kepi. That was almost Tom Trebojevic like. As Sipley up the middle now tries to get some meters. We call for that left play again. See if it can work for us. And it does. Brad Parker's through. He's got support. Gets the ball to Garrick. But Garrick was covered from all angles. Fourth tackle now. Foran sends it to Schuster. And that is fifth. We're 20 out. If we can't come up with points, we want to pin them in their own end at least. Is this bomb, is it too big? And it's not. It's not too big, but Mansour going to completely disregard the placement of that kick. And he'll bring it back to the 50. That was a beautiful kick. I believe it was from Foran. And look at this now, the whole team lifting. Mansour has brought his team back into this in terms of momentum as they play short now and he's through a gap. He's got support, gets the pass away and he gets the offload and Alex Johnston will go over. We had them pinned in their own end but in one set they brought it the length of the field and they will get six points on the board. Did not expect that coming from them with all the momentum against them as Garrick now kicks and this one's going to be out on the full as we give them even more momentum and field position. We can't write them off yet. As they'll make it to around our 30 and they're not far out now. Comeback is not completely off the table. But they will have to score very soon as they're only 10 out here went for the grubber it looked like and they come up with the error and we are let off the hook as cuss now darts from dummy half we're gonna try and give it to the big boys to get it out of our own end as we played a schuster that was a beautiful ball from jake trebojevic displaying his ball playing talent as Olakowatu plays on the inside to Tom Trebojevic. He fends off one, but the cover defense was there. This is fifth for them. As they send it down to Saab, they weren't in an attacking position there. And Saab lets the offload go. That was completely unnecessary. We shouldn't have pulled it there. As we gift them field position to try and get back into this. I know there's not long left. But in rugby league, anything can happen. A sewer goes for a crash play. They send it to Burgess. He sends it wide to Liam Knight. And they do cross over again. And there is plenty of time left for them to come back into this. As they're going to try and get up the field as quickly as possible. They got numbers on the left, and that's where they go. They throw it inside. Beautiful set play, and Latrell Mitchell busts the tackle, gets the pass away, and Mansour gets the offload back to Sewer. And the bunnies are just throwing it around at this point, seeing what they can do. As they send it to Cook, and they're 20 out. Do they have a chance to go with an attacking play? They just put the bomb up. Tom Trebojevic is under it, but it's a beautifully placed bomb. And they put us back in our in goal. And they give themselves another chance. The Bunnies have switched on in this second half. And we kick it out on the full. And gift them some more field position. If that repeat set wasn't enough. As Burgess takes this one forward. Reynolds now flat footed. Takes the tackle as they reset here. They, oh, there's a huge gap and they run straight through it. We just opened up for them. And it is a six-point game.
Do they have enough left in the tank? They've certainly got the momentum. As look at this restart. There is only five minutes left. As that was a flat ball to Burgess. Can they get up the field in time? As they send it to Johnston. They're running out of time here as that's fifth. And they are in our half. This is probably their last chance as they send it down to Garrick. And a bit of an anticlimactic finish there. That will be the game and we do come away with the win. Definitely should have been a little more comfortable than that. As DCE gets man of the match. Be sure to stay tuned for round three, and I'll see you then.